Hi guys, I'm back today. I wanted to give you a review on a vegetarian meatball. It's made, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's made by Guardian, I believe. But they are meat-free meatballs. I've never had these before. I'm trying to cut out meat because I found worms in um, some sausage. It's been back after the first of the year, I guess. It was in, um, I can't remember what brand, but it was the Link sausages. And it just totally grossed me out. And red meat just really isn't good for you at all. So, I'm not eating pork. I'm basically not eating any meat, you know. But, anyway, these are frozen meatballs. I got these at Kroger's. They were, um, let me see how much they were. They were, let's see, four, four seventy nine for this. What size bag is that? For this twelve point seven ounce bag. And what I did was I popped them in the microwave for I don't know under a minute to unthaw them, and then I put them in a skillet with a little bit of olive oil to kind of fry them up a little bit to see what they taste like. So anyway. <clears throat> I'm ready to see how these taste. But first, let me give you the nutritional information. The serving size is three meatballs, and there are four servings per container. <clears throat> There's 150 calories. You've got 60 calories from fat. Um, there's a half a gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, and that's the bad one. Um, you've got two grams of polyunsaturated and four grams of monosaturated fat. No cholesterol, 340 milligrams of sodium, 300 milligrams of potassium. Your total carbs is nine, dietary fiber four, one gram of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. So all in all, sounds really good. So, and they smelled good too. So now I'm gonna taste them. Here's what they look like right here. There's three of them. So I'm going to cut a piece off of one and I'm gonna smell it, see what it smells like. Mmm, smells like meat, look at that. Doesn't that look good to you? And just think of all the good veggies that's in there and all the good proteins and everything. So you're getting your meat flavor without the meat. So let's see what it tastes like. It's got a hamburger texture. It tastes like hamburger. It's seasoned really well. It almost tastes like, um, like it's got some Italian sausage in it, but it doesn't. But I can see some spices clearly in it. It's really good. Really, really good. And it's the first for me. And it's really good. So, run on down to your store and buy this Gardein, G-A-R-D-E-I-N, delicious, meat-free meatball. You can make um, meatball subs or use it in your spaghetti or just do like me and pop you a cup in a bowl and, and heat them and eat them. <laughs> but they're really good. So I plan on finishing these. That'll be my dinner, I guess, along with a salad. But they're really good. Go out and buy these. I do recommend these. Um, nobody has paid me or anything for this, this review at all. This is my own personal opinion because this is the first time I found this product was today in Kroger's, which is also, I believe, a division of maybe Fred Meyer. Um, I forget what other stores um, are in the Kroger in the Kroger loop. But anyway, there's a bunch of them. I think maybe Food for Less or something like that. <clears throat> but anyway, go out and buy this if you're a vegetarian or even if you're not. They're really good. 
you won't be sorry, and it's really a great value. So, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bon appetit. And until next time, um, I guess bon appetit. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see you next time, people. Have a wonderful day. Keep our military in your thoughts and your prayers. Without them, we wouldn't have the freedom that we enjoy every day. So, thank you, and thank you to all of our military as a whole, every branch. I love every one of you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.